What's your ideal age in the man? Honestly, older than me. So I'm 25, but no older than 35. So 25 to 35? 26. I right. already dated a younger man. I won't do it again. Ideal race? Over six feet. Beefy. Race. Race. I'm getting there. Oh, sorry. I'm just giving you more detail. Okay, okay, okay. Beefy black men. All right, and then you said six foot? Yeah. Minimum income. I mean, I would love a man with six figures, so yeah. The probability of you finding your ideal man is a 0 0.069%. What's your ideal age in the man? The older, the better. You got a range? 26 to 31. How old are you? I'm 24. Me too. All right. Ideal okay. race? Uh, 24. <laughs> Ideal race? White. Minimum height? Your height or taller. Wait, does that mean you want my number? Let's go through the rest of the questions. All right. Minimum income? 80. And the probability of you finding your ideal man is a 2.2% chance. That's why I'm single, motherfucker. <laughs> Look, everyone's allowed to have their preference, but this is probably why there's that study that says that 45% of women will be single and childless in the year 2030, because there's too many modern women that have ridiculous expectations. It's the three sixes every time, six feet, six figures, more than six inches. Little do they realise that there's not many men that actually fit into that bracket. If they get wiser with age, their expectations lower, but if they don't, well, we all know how they end up. Cat lady. My absolute worst fear is being stitched by that guy. I, hey, it's you, and I think the guy that like lays down and he basically spoils the ending of really long videos. I would be humiliated. Hey, Dad, you have two options A, be quarantined with mom, or B, 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 B. What would you rate yourself? What would I rate myself? I mean, I'm a mother 10. You're a 10? Yeah. Can you give us a spin? I spin if I want to spin. I'll spin around you. <laughs> All right. I'll give you about a 5.5. I don't care what you... What? And you shouldn't care. Oh, my. She definitely cares, and I don't really have too much sympathy for people that choose to do these type of interviews, and I thought it was quite nice giving her a five and a half, to be honest. Anybody else realize that children born in 2023 potentially live to see the year 3,000? What are you, fucking stupid? You look like you can't no, swim. You look like you can swim. March. Goddamn whale. Sure. That one, there was a violation. What do you find more intimate? Having a deep conversation or having sex? Deep conversation. Why is it that cheating is usually more about having sex than having a deep conversation with a stranger? Well... I'd say one of the reasons is because a lot of people aren't actually capable of having a deep conversation these days. People aren't able to connect or show intimacy through a conversation, so they all do it through sex. That's probably why a lot of relationships aren't lasting anymore, because people can't actually connect on a deeper level. Most female dominated industries are sex or beauty related, correct? Yes. That's the way things are right now, that should change. Well, right, but why would women want to give up their power if they can use it to, you Because know... it shouldn't be the only power that we're able to hold in society. Well, whether it should When you don't give women a fair chance to gain power, they're going to do whatever it takes. Well, is there anything stopping women from getting power any other way? Yes. yes, men. Well, I mean, but men also give women their power, correct? Not enough of it. Well, obviously, if all Not the men... Not in the ways it matters. If all, if all the men in the world were gay, how would women get power? Because Not they're f***ing women. Huh? What does that mean? They're strong and well, better than men. Well, right, but I'm saying if women couldn't use s*** to control men, then how would they get power? Skip. He's way too smart for these Muppets. they probably got about a brain cell between them. They will chase you if you stop chasing them, but you're afraid to stop because you think you might lose them. If that's the case, then it's time to let go. I don't know which couples have to hear this, but if you're in a relationship and you're flirting with other people, that's... So now we're communicating over TikTok? Huh. A couple that looks like they live in the same house beefing on TikTok, that's the times we live in. Now it could be a skit, but if it isn't, then you're both a pair of Muppets. Calling my girlfriend names after her surgery. Good morning, pup. You got your letter back. What? You were accepted. What? Into the X-Men. Yeah. You're a victim! Oh. Mm. <laughs> she kept track <laughs> Bro, you of his snap score. From time to time. No, it's just, it's not just me. No, that is just you. You're weird. I like it when a girl cares, but bruv, that's a bit too much. That's a bit of a red flag in my opinion. She's a bit... I promise to always let you play video games with your friends. Especially when Jake texts you to get on. You don't find that suspicious? Excuse me. What would you rate yourself on a scale 1 through 10? 
10. Okay. Do you think other people agree with that? Yes. Excuse me. Yeah, what's up? What would you rate this girl on a scale 1 through 10? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Shit, probably like a 2, bro. Because I decided to say I'm a 10 and every girl here is a 10. Do you guys not think every girl here is a 10? Certainly not. No. Okay, then that's your opinion, but from my eyes, I think every girl here is beautiful. There's no 10s at the table. I think you're wrong. What do you rate yourself 1 out of 10? I can give myself a good 15. Yeah, do you not understand the and question? Then... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the question is 1 through 10. I have to break the scale. That's sometimes I can see myself as a 15, but then, you know, I got my days I wake yeah, up. Do you, are you, like, do you have issues with numbers? <laughs> Like, it's one through ten. There's two types of women that are complete donuts when you ask them this question. There's ones that you ask them this and they just say, yeah, I'm a ten or a fucking fifteen because they feel like they need to. And then there's the other type of donut that genuinely believes it. And I blame that on social media. It's just because they get so much validation. So many simps in their DMs saying they look good every day. They genuinely believe that they're tens. France have just proposed a controversial new law that would force people on social media to disclose if they've edited their images in any way. And the penalty if found guilty is not no bloody joke. An individual could face fines of up to 30,000 euros, be banned from continuing their career on social media, and even spend up to two years in prison. Looks like someone in the French government has been catfished one too many times. So the question is, do you think this is fair or harsh? It sounds like if you're a fake French influencer, there's only one place you're going. You're going to jail. <laughs> You're going again. Joking aside, I think 30 grand in prison time is a bit harsh just for using a filter. Having said that, if you use it to be a catfish and you're taking advantage of someone or fucking up their life, then yeah, maybe you should go to prison. And I also think it's good that you have to disclose you using a filter. But until then, just do not believe half the shit you see because most people are enhancing their faces, especially women. Another great question this person is asking if there is any time in which intentional weight loss is not fat phobic. I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of the times, if you are intentionally losing weight, it is fat phobic. I'm saying when you are intentionally exercising to lose weight, altering your diet to lose weight, doing any activity intentionally to lose weight is fat phobic. What the fuck are you talking about? Because you are intentionally attempting to make your body smaller to fit into what narrative? The narrative that smaller is healthier even though we've already discussed why that's not true. And I say that because as a personal trainer with a fat body, I know that movements impact people differently based on their body size, type, shape, mobility, a million things. Sometimes I wonder if I'm living on the right planet. We're living in the most advanced times with some of the dumbest people. What is this lunatic on or what is she not on? And to make it even worse, she says she's a personal trainer. How the fuck is she a personal trainer, bruv? And has she never heard about heart disease? Diabetes? No, never heard of that probably. No point even engaging with these fools, bruv. You're better off talking to this wall, man. She probably just sits there in her house and argues about nothing all day. He said you're wearing, you're dressed a little bit too revealing. He has, he hasn't told me to put on more clothes, but I told him I was a baddie before you got me. I'm gonna still be a baddie while I'm with you. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have to be more modest than when I met you because you knew what I was like when I met you. So now that we're in a relationship, it shouldn't deter you if I'm wearing the exact same stuff I, that I met you in. He knows it's only for him. As long as he trusts me, no one else is gonna get to touch me. No one else is gonna be able to do anything else. Like, no. Nah. I, I agree. <laughs> He just doesn't like I mean, people there's, looking. There's, yeah, yeah, <laughs> fuck, why, why does everybody get to look? There are weirdos out there, yeah, and that's my point, yeah. is like weirdos get weird, and weirdos put things in drinks, weirdos, I, yeah, I, I don't mean to take that term, but like. But that's, a, that's the thing, there are weirdos out there, but you know what, women shouldn't have to feel like they have to compromise who they are. When you're with a real woman that respects you, you're not even gonna have to have these type of conversations, because she's not gonna dress in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, or in a way that's provocative. She sounds like she was a city girl before, and it still sounds like she's got that mentality. If she was one before, she probably won't change. And if she still is, she belongs to the streets.